Hi, good morning everyone. Random Pos Maria Sanchez with Random Positivity here. And I just want to say Merry Christmas. It is Christmas today. Happy holidays. I hope all of you are starting your day really joyful, really happy, hearing the screams of kids or um, whoever you want. Uh, <laughs> so I just want to say Merry Christmas to all of you. And I want to say thank you as well to everyone out there who has been supporting Random Positivity, sending out, um, you know, their comments, uh, putting their likes, and also with just sharing our posts and spreading that positivity throughout the world because that is the goal, right? For all of us to have a more positive world by creating our positive mindsets. So thank you again so much for all the support. Um, if and every and also to continue doing it, we really appreciate you guys. I just wanted to ah, go over today is we don't have any more uh, mind games that we we're doing because yesterday was actually our last recap. But with that said, I started to think that it would be really great to go over all of this um, kind of like a, a quick run through just as almost reflecting back on this journey of doing the 21 day mind hack. So um, first off with day one it was creating those uh, mindful, yeah, creating a, a mindful uh, thought process, right? Where we were starting to go over um, being aware of what our mind is thinking and noting it throughout our time and everything. So, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I woke up with crazy allergies. And I'm hoping this uh, Claritin kicks in pretty soon. So <laughs> I did. So yes, we had our our mindfulness, which was a great exercise, um, keeping tabs on noticing when our mind kind of goes away, grabbing our attention back by uh, having our notifications getting turned off, um, turning off the things that we don't need. And actually learning to schedule a time in your day where you can um, go ahead and look into all of that. Because then that way your phone or your whatever device or electronic device is not controlling you. You are controlling it by deciding on when uh, you are going to look at any notifications, any emails, things like that. And what I found interesting is as I was looking, because I do, I tend to look at a lot of videos for um, like successful people, seeing how their mindsets work. And a lot of, a lot of them, they don't look at their phone every second. They have a, um, a time blocked for that, a time blocked for emails. Like, and if it's multiple times throughout the day where they need to respond, then they do multiple times. They'll do like a, a breakfast, lunch, and dinner kind of thing, but they won't constantly go back so that their attention stays where it needs to stay, which I found interesting. So the other um, addition to our mind hacking was recognizing negative loops and changing the language there. So this is something I noticed with myself the other day when I spoke to you guys about the time management and how I had this negative emotion towards time management for some reason. Um, and then going back to it, I realized that, oh, I just need to actually change the language of it because I felt like it was controlling me by saying management. And um, so I decided to use them. I, change the language to time decisions and I felt like that was really great because it put a very positive spin on it for myself. There are some people who you know don't have that issue with the word management and that's great you know but what I thought was awesome is the fact that I actually was able to notice that 
make that change. And now I'm starting to use that as like a positive loop to recognize that I am making decisions for my time. So, um, yeah, so that's the negative loops and changing the language to turn them into positive ones. Um, then from there, we went into our repetition of loops, right? Revalidating those goals that we had, those five words in the beginning, which kind of was like the core of our positive loops, those five main ones. So, um, and that really became just the, um, I guess you could say like the standard, like the main goals that you want to achieve in your life. And what was interesting about that is because as I was doing the repetition on the loops every day, writing them down, I saw that certain ones started uh, getting a little bit more detailed or started getting tweaked in there because it really was um, a very, uh, it, it really started um, evolving into something more. And I, I do feel that maybe, um, I apologize for that, by the way. That was my, okay, anyway. Um, but I really do think that doing those positive loops really helped uh, me see things a little bit more clearer as to what I really want in life, who I really want to become, um, and it really helped kind of like trigger a switch off to, I mean, switch off, switch on <laughs> to see where it is that I want to go and who I really am choosing to be. And I really love that. I think that these steps that they have in this book has really guided, um, in a lot of self-discovery and, I, I do think it is important for people to go through something like this, to have this sense of self-awareness. And um, I'm definitely still learning about myself every single day. Don't get me wrong. Like we are always changing. Like we're not the same person we were yesterday. And that is the beauty of time. That's the beauty of the fact that you can choose who you are in every single moment. That is the beauty of saying, I am whoever it is I want to be right now. It didn't matter who you were before. That was you in the past, right? So that's that's what's so great about this. And I get very excited when I talk about this because I'm so passionate about how people should like understand that you can choose. There's always a choice. It may not be an easy choice, but there is always, always a choice. And you can either choose to be who you were or who you are in the moment. So choose, you know? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I get very... Oh, excited about that. <laughs> um, but going into this, I really just, uh, uh, so now those repetitive loops, right? They helped triggered changes in the details of what you want and, or who you want to be. Now the simulation process, totally <laughs> another realm, right? It's, simulating the problems that you're going to run into um, to get to that goal. And uh, one of like the simpler examples was like, if you want to lose weight, right? Like I could say, um, I am a athletic surfer, right? And which is actually something I really want to do. And, um, but one of the things that a problem could be arising for me is like, you know, I'm, I am, not, I'm not the thinnest person and that's okay. Like, I know I need to lose weight, especially for health reasons, um, just to feel good. And, uh, but I'm not saying that just because you're bigger doesn't mean you can't feel good. I feel like 
any transformation that happens on the outside has to start within. Like you could be the t most fit person on earth, but if you're not like good up here, if you don't see how amazing you are, all that doesn't matter. You know, it, it doesn't matter because you, this is what is important. This first, then physical, because I'm a very strong believer in that when your mind is really, um, when your mind is just switched on to a place where you're untouchable, like it doesn't matter that everything else is going to follow. It will follow. I totally believe in the law of attraction because I unknowingly, I did that all my life. <laughs> I really did. And it's, it's been very interesting. So <laughs> with simulation, for example, let's get back to that is you're going to imagine, right? Like, so I, I, I use the example that I want to be an athletic surfer. And number one, what is a issue that could come arise, come arise, come around or arise? And um, I could say, well, right, I want to lose weight first to help me um, be able to pop up easier and um, to be able to, to balance better, get on a surfboard. So I may think to myself, okay, a problem is that I'm not eating healthy. So uh, I can simulate a time where let's say my friends want to go out to eat of course now it's not very um <laughs> not the easiest thing since of all the covid lockdowns and everything but let's just say right we were we're it's covid free and let's let's just do our fun imagination here it's normal world and we're gonna go for lunch and we're like oh we go to this fast or a really just heavy duty, awesome burgers, right? So I may simulate the fact that I'm ordering something healthier, a salad option, um, even maybe doing baby steps, right? Having the burger, but cutting it in half instead of fries, ordering a salad. So um, just going through the, the fact that you already have a solution, you already know what you need to do, for it and seeing yourself doing it allows your mind and your body to feel the emotion of overcoming something and it feels so good. <laughs> That's the beauty of our minds. Our minds don't know the difference between reality and our imagination. So if you do something, if you imagine something well enough in great detail, then you trick your mind in thinking that you are doing the right things and it's going to become easier and easier in the real world to do it, which is so awesome, right? Like that concept is so cool to me. And um, then following step, like part of that final big thing is doing the small step goals towards your main goal. Right? So let's just use the example again as I'm an athletic surfer. So um, my first thought is from, from knowing from a lot of like my friends in the past, whatever, when it came to surfing, um, that popping up. So maybe I use that as a small goal, like do 10 push-ups, and they don't have to be real push, or I don't want to say real push-ups, but I don't know what they're called. The ones... The ones that are like legit push-ups, <laughs> but um, maybe because my arms are not as strong, I start on the wall first. And that may sound really weird because you're like, how do you do push-ups on the wall? It's legit the same thing. Like you're on the, you're on the wall and just pushing against the wall, but you're going to have an angle. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys on a post later on today. I'm, I, you know, yes. That's one of my sub goals. I'm going to start that today. You heard it here today, guys. You heard it here today. Yeah. I'm going to be an athletic surfer. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, um, I just, 
oh, I think that Claritin's kicking in because I'm not feeling that again. Um, but I just, oh, I'm so excited this morning and I really, truly enjoy sharing this with you guys. I hope what I say today and what I say um, in the past or the future just helps you out in your journeys and your self-awareness and your journeys in um, just choosing who you want to be and doing it, you know? It's, it's super important. So, <laughs> oh gosh, with that, I, <laughs> I kind of said so much, but that's fine. But I'm telling you, today I'm doing those 10 wall push-ups and I'm going to show you guys what they are so that you're not looking at me like, are <laughs> But anyway, um, I wanted to say, I, I am saying... <laughs> You guys take care. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Hug your family. Skype or Zoom or FaceTime, whatever you guys use for virtual chatting. Um, do that today and just share the love. Let someone know that you love them. Let someone know that you're caring about them, that you're thinking about them because <sighs> you guys, this this world is insane right now and all we have is each other. So support each other and be together, if not physically, through the, the special positive vibes that you guys have. Spread that out in the world and, and I love it, guys. So <laughs> um, I wanted to say, uh, remember to smile at someone, laugh at yourself and always motivate each other. I will see you all tomorrow and oh you guys are gonna see me later today doing those 10 push-ups wall push-ups. Mm, 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 mm. Alright bye guys. <laughs> Peace.